our sports show and the game of the week, now in its 25th year. This week, it's Mother Lode League Volleyball. The Amador Buffaloes take on the Argonaut Mustangs at Argonaut with TSPN sportscasters Tim Thornhill and Mark Hirsch. Tonight's Lady Mustangs, uh, game five of the season, first home game against the Buffaloes. I'm Tim Thornhill along with Mark Herschel. We're going to be doing the commentary tonight. We're going to introduce our starting lineups. Mark, you want to go ahead and introduce the Lady Buffaloes? Yeah, number 12, I got Alice Mack. I got number 11, Sky Volkheim. I got number five, Tr Teresa Smalley. Number nine, Carolina Cortez. Number 15, Taylor Roberts. And number three, Brianne Ori. I know some of those girls personally. They're good players. they got big hearts. It's a good team. Uh, the starting Mustangs is Serena Brown. She's going to be your setter. Uh, she is number 13. Jamie Thornhill is your outside hitter. She's number 15. Uh, Michaela Herschel, she is number 11. She's going to be your middle. Uh, Rachel Reby is going to be your libero. Libero is going to be going in and out of the back row all night long. She does not have to check in. The libero uh, for the Lady Mustangs, you see, has a green jersey on. Doesn't mean she forgot her jersey, just makes her separated from a libero. You got Leah Peterson and Morgan Zafferano for the Lady Mustangs. You got Gabby Brown is the libero for the Gabby Brown's libero. So you can check in and out anytime, play only in the back line. Usually the libero is your stronger defensive player. Here comes Rachel in. Jackie, Jackie. Jenkins. Yep. Jumping Jackie Jenkins. Oh, here we go with the names. That's a way to start. We got Slam Dunk Cabrium. We got uh, Twin Tower Michaela, right? The killer Herschel. <laughs> Michaela. Serena Brown's back to serve as soon as we get the, the call from the refs. And the upper refs gives the, the whistle. We're off. Match on. Good serve by Serena Brown. And Three uh, hits. Taylor Roberts with a, a good third shot over the net. And Michaela Herschel with a kill right off the bat. 1-0, Argonaut. Strong start. If you notice, Amador doesn't have a whole lot of height. So we got a lot of heights. We got the, some tall girls over six foot at our net. And we're going to see a lot of power coming down right on top of those Amador uh, front line. Nice pass by number five in the back row there. Who was that? Number five is Teresa Smalley. Teresa Smalley, good pass. Argonaut does a little three and over. And a hit. Nice hit. Yeah. Alyssa's back for Amador with a nice hit. I think it's Mock. Is it Mock? Okay. Yeah. And I think it's Joheim instead of Volkheim. I just don't want these people to get upset. <laughs> oh, a jump serve from the back row. Just a bit long. 2-1 Argonaut. Jamie Thornhill serving. Nice serve right to the middle. Nice pass and a nice play by Amador. Nice set. You have to hit it over in three. That would have been in four, so it's a point for Argonaut. 3-1 Argonaut. Usually it's a pass from the back to the setter. The sets then attack over the net. There's the pass. There's the set. Here's the attack. Morgan's off a with a Morgan nice Z. Kill. Nice kill. That's a good shot, Morgan. Eminor's 1-3 this year. They beat Linden uh, in the first round of the playoff. This is the end of the first round. they got two more rounds to go. they got ten more games. Uh, Aunt Linden's a very reputable opponent. They're a good team. Eminor's coming on pretty strong. But, again, Mark, they're a young team. they got eight players, six juniors. Eight players. they got six, uh, five juniors. Two of them are uh, seniors, and we got one sophomore. So it's a young team to look forward to the future. Oh, I think the. Oh, wasn't oh. sure if it was a net call or a over the net call. The the second hit, the setter for that team has possession of the net. They can't jump past the net. What happened was Michaela jumped past the net to tip it down for the point, but because she was past the net, it didn't count. You don't see that call very often. Nice block by Mikhail. That makes it 5-2, Argonaut. One thing, the top three teams of the league, Somerville, Calaveras, Argonaut, are probably the three strongest teams. They're all tied at the top of the ladder at 3-1. and one. 
So tonight's a crucial night for every game here. Basically, season starts all over with everybody wow, what tied. A, what a great play by the, the number nine on Amador. Who was that, Mark? What a great play. That was Carolina Cortez. Morgan Zafferon with a big hit, but Alexis Mock with a nice dig from the back row for Amador. Leah with a nice block. Morgan Z's playing well tonight. Yeah, picking up everything. Morgan out with just a simple third pass over. Nice rally going on here, trying to get it over in the second. Oh, As you notice, she tried to kick the ball. That's actually legal. If she would have kicked that ball and would have went back over, it would have been a legal play. We have Leah Peterson, who used to play soccer for me, and uh, about once every few games, she'll kick a ball over the net. Yeah. She did that down at Sassoon City yeah. one weekend and watched her play. And the other team just sits there stunned, and it usually hits the ground. Rachel Reby with a jump serve for the nice Lady serve. Mustangs. Found the hole. Right in the hole. Three in the front, three in the back. And he's, she found the hole right in the middle. Makes it 7-2 Argonaut. Another jump serve by Rachel Reby. Typically a, a really good server for the Mustangs. There's the pass to the set and the set to Morgan on the outside in a nice, nice hit. hit. Too much power for Amador to handle there. 8-2 Argo Argonaut. This is a long time rivalry here between the two teams. It wasn't that long ago, Mark, uh, the rivalry between the two schools weren't, um, weren't as friendly as they are tonight. You'll see these girls laughing and hugging and joking afterwards. You know, that used to be uh, pretty intense. Yes. It's still intense on the court. Everybody wants to win. But off the court, it's really nice that all the girls get along so well. It's nice to see when Amador comes in the, in the, the gymnasium, the other team runs over and hugs them. But when game's on, game's on. That's it. There we go. 9-2 to Mustangs. 10-2 to two now Mustangs. 10-2, to two, little indecisiveness there on Amador's part. Just need to get that three passes. The setter usually always gets the second timeout for Argonaut. Is that timeout Argonaut? I'm talking about Amador. Amador. When there's a timeout, usually it's... A, Talk to the team, break the momentum. We got a 10-2 score here for Argonaut. And what I was saying is usually the second pass will always go to the setter, and then the setter will hit it. And on that last play, the setter or uh, wasn't decisive whether she was going to get it or not, so the other team let it drop. This uh, this first game, uh, first time out, is brought to you by All Sierra Roof Company, your community's true full-service roofing company, serving the Sierra foothills for three generations, fully licensed and insured for both residential and commercial. All Sierra Roof will keep winter out of your home. Call 223-4496 or 768-4496. And, folks, I will call you back. So, Hey, Tim, I know the guys that own All Sierra Roof. Great guys. And they put a new roof on my house. Wonderful guys. And it was wonderful. My wife picked out a beautiful color. You two worked on the color. We did? And yeah. <laughs> it's you so high, though, it. I can't even you see can't it. You can't see it. But that was sort of the joke. But the great roof, great workability, and very dependable and nice crew. Go ahead and call see all CR roof. Get I'm, your roofs done. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that plug, Mark, just because you beat me the other night at Texas Hold'em. But I beat you every night. Taylor Roberts with a nice outside hit for Amador, scoring a point. Mustangs kind of flat-footed on that one. They weren't really sure what to do. So Taylor Roberts is a sophomore, I believe, Mark. Is yes, right? yes, yes. Back uh, serving for the Buffaloes. She definitely would be a leader at that school in the volleyball field. Leah Peterson with an Cross court. Hit. Look at that. Right inside the line. Found the hole. You notice those both last two plays, Taylor on Amador and Leah on Argonaut, they both were cross court. It's very hard to defend against those. Krista Cabry coming in for Serena Brown and Caitlin Lane coming in for Leah Peterson for the Lady Mustangs. Caitlin, one of the strongest servers on our team, most consistent. 11-3, the Mustangs got 12-3. The Mustangs up. Oh, what a nice hit. Jumping Jackie Jenkins. That ball just crossed that net, and Jackie was just poised. Jackie's in the attack. Right, right place, right time. A lot yeah. of times, she's a natural athlete. Her anticipation is incredible. Jackie is, is one of the smaller middles in league. She doesn't, she's not physically intimidating like some of the other girls from Bret Hart or Somerville. Even Michaela 
you know, is much taller, and Olga for the Mustangs are much taller, but Jackie plays big. Her timing is really, really incredible. Nice hit by Briori for the Buffaloes. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Argonaut. We got three middles. We got Olga, we got Michaela, and we got Jackie, and I don't think at this point it matters who you have in there. We're effective, and they're all getting the job done, doing it well. That was a nice hit by Bree. Good judgment on Rachel's part. Ball's out. 14-4, Lady Mustangs are up. Morgan's out for all back to serve. Ooh. Miss hit by Amador, point for Argonaut. Morgan's serves have some velocity on them. Yes. Probably one of the faster servers in, in league, you know, a lot of people will try a jump serve or, or a, a floater. But Morgan just says, you know, here it is. I'm bringing it to you. You know, and, and she wants you to try and hit it. So, And she's mixing it up. She's not going to the same place every time. Nice play by Amador. A nice, nice pass and a good set. Good recovery there by Amador. Here we Let's go with really Jackie again. Point, Argonaut. Jackie with a big hit. Jumping Jackie. Jump. It was a good, good set by uh, Caitlin Lang. Good now, pass. Argonaut's different than most teams. Is The girls call where they want to put the serves, and they decide where they're going to place the serves. Most teams, the coaches tell them where to serve, but our coach, our Adam, has enough faith in the girls to where they, he lets them put the ball in and play themselves, and they pretty much figure out where to put it. Chris up in the air, not high enough, got the net. Point Amador, 16-5, Argonaut. Think about the Mustangs tonight, Mark, that we talked about last week when we, we televised the Somerville game. Not a service error yet. You know, halfway through the first game and there's no service error, that's unusual. Yeah, the very Mustangs good. are playing well. And I think that's what got Calaveras in trouble last week. Uh, every match, every game was close, so, and we won in, in four. Big hit there. But Calaveras had a tremendous amount of service errors like we did against Somerville. Nice dig from Rachel Reby, the libero. Nice, J.B. Thornhill. That's gonna cost me an ice cream after the game, I think. Jam and Jamie. Jam and Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, Thornhill. That was a nice hit. That was a beautiful. Jamie's that was probably nice the strongest, strongest hitter in the league by far. That was, that was, a, that was a nice volley both by both teams, a lot of saves. And we have a sub in there for Argonaut. Sarah Lopez is in the game. Oh. Mustangs with a miscue there. They got that ball under the net. We used to play that a couple years ago in junior high. They played under the net. But, yeah. you know, in high school, you got to play over the net. Carolina Cortez serving. Nice serve. Nice strong serve. The Buffaloes in the back with a, a good pass, a good set. And Taylor Roberts with the outside, the young sophomore. Taylor Roberts is a lefty. And sometimes my other daughter was a lefty, and sometimes you can really catch that front row off guard when that ball comes off the foot, left hand because they can hit it in different areas. Serena Brown back in for Carissa Cabry and Leah Peterson back in the front row for Caitlin Lang, your other setter. Adam runs a 6-2 offense with two setters rotating in and out all the time. You see a lot of rotations in this game tonight. Pass by Rachel Reby from the back row. Nice hit. Good pickup by the Mustangs. And Leah with Peterson with a nice hit. See some battles here up at the net. Oh, Mustangs got a little, um, got a little heavy in the footwork to kind of let that one just drop. 18 to 7, Mustangs up. Is that Alexis Mock again with the serve for the Mustangs? Nice jump serve. Oh, I'm sorry, not for the Mustangs, for the Buffaloes. That's a hard hit. That's you know, a hard hit. I don't, sometimes they just, they just go over the hand and just get that over, just get try to get the point back. 19 7, Argonaut. It's tempting, though, when you have that ball coming up and you're in the back row and you really want to get a kill, it's tempting to just go for it. But you're right. You have to, you have to first get it over. Sarah Lopez with the 
deep hit outside. A little, little too much pressure on the ball. That's okay. Ball out. 19-8, Lady Mustangs. Sky Volkheim serving for the Buffaloes. Oh, nice. Nice save by Serena. Nice save. Mustangs get it over in what we call a free ball. And the Buffaloes take an immediate attack with it. Priori for the Buffaloes. Found a hole and a nice hole. What I liked about that play was when, uh, even though Amador got the point, when uh, Serena dove for the ball because she's our setter number gets the second ball, that we were smart enough to just put it back over the net and let Serena get back and right. get back into her position rather than trying to set the ball to her. Ball was in. Beautiful Ooh. serve there. Nice serve. Lady Mustangs so called it out. They, they, the back row did what the front row said, but... Just Nate. hit the net. Just hit the, the line. Good serve. Who's number 11 mark for the Buffaloes? That's Alexis Mock. Alexis Mock. 19-10, Argonaut. Nice hit there by Sarah. Point Argonaut, 20-10, Argonaut. 20-10, Argonaut. Michaela Herschel coming out, and Jackie Judkins rotating in as the, the rotate positions. Michaela out, jumping Jackie in. Every time the serve, folks, you, have, you basically have a, a six person rectangle and every time the opponent serves and then you get the ball back you have to rotate one spot in that rectangle so some of the girls will not play a back row some will only play front row uh, and that's what you see the substitutions coming in and out not like anybody's doing anything wrong it's just that they want player positions in that position nice hit who was that mark i missed that no don't lie to me just tell me i was daydreaming <laughs> Mark Herschel and his, and his poker dreams. They can get in trouble. Yeah. Don't think you want to go there. <laughs> Point for Amador. Mustangs took a commanding lead early in this match, but the Buffaloes don't give up. It's 2012. Anything can happen. I've seen the some 20 to 3 games go the other way. Ooh. Bad. We pass. talked about this last time. It's all about momentum. And the momentum swings in volleyball more than any other sport I've ever seen. So once one team gets some momentum, it tends to swing that way, and there's a big point swing. And that's what's happening right now. Amador has the momentum. A lot of times, that's what a coach would call a timeout. We did get the point for Argonaut. It's 21-13 now. Chris Cabri in for Serena Brown, and Caitlin Lang in for Leah Peterson. Sarah Lopez back to serve for the Lady Mustangs. Nope, Caitlin Lang. It was a it was a fake play. It's kind of a double reverse. <laughs> Buffaloes with with the free ball. Go. Over. Just do the underhand and get it over. Here we go. Jump nice Jack hit, beautiful. Jumping Jackie Jenkins, 22-13 Argonaut. Nice hit by Jackie in the middle. And Jackie's probably a good uh, two three inches shorter than the other middle, so she gets up just as high and hits, if not harder, just as hard. Nice hit by number five, Mark, for the Buffaloes. Who was that? Beautiful. That was Tressa Smalley. I think that's one thing that's probably lacking mostly in Amador and what's hurting them a little in the point count here is the score is the, just a lack of height in that front row. They're not able to get up, tip that ball, slow it down. Uh, looks to me like maybe the tallest girls, 5'9"-ish. Yeah. It's a good observation. Mustang's having a little trouble tonight in the back row passing. Chris that Cabry, hit. big hit. Just, as Bob Euchre would say, a bit outside. Chris Caper probably will be the premier volleyball player in the league next year. She, she's an outside hitter. She, and actually, she's a backside hitter. But she has the ability to just float and, and jump higher than anyone pretty much in the league. So she'll be able to hit over blockers, which is going to be just fun to watch. Mustangs let another one drop in the back row, 22 to 15, 22 to 16. That was right in the line. I think they thought it was out, but here Amador coming back, got a little momentum going their way. Games to 25, you can five see. games tonight, best of three. Ladies, Mustangs getting just a little complacent, I think, Mark. 
they started off so strong and it just they need to get that level of intensity back i agree there you go that's caitlin's patent move right there caitlin lane takes that second pass to her when she should set a hitter and dumps it and it's good for two to three points a match yeah. Usually one in the first game, and usually maybe one in game three or four, you'll catch him sleeping, and that's what happened. Sarah Lopez, beautiful serve. <laughs> Caught him off guard. I don't think the other team realized that she was serving. Lack of communication there on Amador. That game was point here, 24-16. First four games to 25. Fifth game is to 15. And again, best three out of five. Sarah with a nice serve over the net. Keeps it in play on, on game point. Nice hit by the Buffaloes. Argonaut trying to set up something. Big hit. Nice hit. Beautiful hit. Too. That was Alexis Mock. Getting up high on that net. Nice little cross court hit. 24 17 Mustangs. Tressa Smalley serving. Nice pass by Rachel Reby and Jackie with a big hit right at Briori. But she gets it back over the net. Caitlin going to set, and she sets backside. Chris Cable with a go. big hit. Good, good hustle on Amador's part to stay in the game. Scrappy this is the game Amador point. Now. Too close to the net, yeah. Mustangs with a with pretty much giving mistakes away, you know, against a, a, a team that's tough to do. 24-18. Game service. Argonaut. First game's over, folks. Next game, game two. Argonaut uh, wins game one, 25-18. Game two is going to be brought to you. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.